This week marks the anniversaries of the births and deaths of 16 unforgettable actors, musicians, and athletes. Eight of these famous figures died before they were 40. In this video, we pay tribute to their lives and memories. I'm Linnea Crowther with Legacy.com, the website where you can find any obituary or publish one for someone you care about. Singer Patsy Cline was just 30 when she was killed in a plane crash 60 years ago this week in March 1963. The same tragedy took the lives of country musicians Cowboy Copas and Hawkshaw Hawkins and the pilot Randy Hughes. Cline had her first hit at 25 with 1957's Walkin' After Midnight. Other hits include She's Got You and I Fall to Pieces. She's best known for the song Crazy, written by a then-unknown Willie Nelson. Actor and comedian John Belushi was just 33 when he died of a drug overdose 41 years ago this week in 1982. He is remembered for his larger-than-life characters and his wild-eyed approach to comedy. Belushi made his mark as one of the original cast of Saturday Night Live when the show premiered in 1975. There, he and collaborator Dan Aykroyd created their best-known characters, the Blues Brothers. Belushi would go on to mainstream acclaim for his role in 1978's Animal House. He followed this with big-screen roles in 1941, The Blues Brothers, and Neighbors. Singer and songwriter Andy Gibb was just 30 when he died 35 years ago this week of heart complications following years of substance addiction. Gibb began performing as a teen and achieved international success by the late 70s, scoring eight top 20 hits in the United States. Shortly before his death, he was invited to become the fourth member of the Bee Gees alongside his older brothers, Barry, Robin, and Morris. We remember Gibb for number one songs like I Just Want to Be Your Everything, Love is Thicker Than Water, and Shadow Dancing. Actor Corey Haim was 38 when he died of pneumonia in 2010. Haim is remembered for his success as a child actor and is one of the most prominent teen idols of the 1980s. Haim enjoyed early roles alongside Peter Weller, Robert Downey Jr., and Sarah Jessica Parker. His breakout role was 1986's Lucas, which helped land him on countless magazine covers. Haim would come to be associated with his co-star in The Lost Boys, Corey Feldman. Together, they would become the most successful teen stars of the 1980s. We also remember him for films such as Silver Bullet, License to Drive, and Dream a Little Dream. Also known as Biggie Smalls, rapper The Notorious B.I.G. was 24 years old when he was murdered in Los Angeles in 1997, 26 years ago this week. He would release just one album during his life, but his influence would span generations. Born Christopher Wallace, Biggie rose to prominence thanks to his casual delivery of confrontational topics. He is remembered for songs like Juicy and Big Papa, and for his partnership with Sean Puffy Combs. Actor Anton Yelchin was a 27-year-old rising star when he died in an auto accident in 2016. Yelchin began his career as a child actor in films such as Hearts in Atlantis alongside Anthony Hopkins. He would achieve wider recognition when he joined two blockbuster science fiction franchises, Terminator and Star Trek. We remember him for his role as Chekhov in Star Trek, Star Trek Into Darkness, and Star Trek Beyond. Ron Pigpen McKernan was one of the founding members of the psychedelic rock group The Grateful Dead. He was just 27 when he died in 1973, 50 years ago this week, of complications from a rare autoimmune disease. Affectionately called Pigpen after the Peanuts character of the same name, McKernan was the band's original frontman. He switched to keyboards and percussion before his failing health forced him to withdraw from touring. Child star Anissa Jones was just 18 when she died of a drug overdose in 1976. We remember Jones for her role as Buffy on the sitcom Family Affair, a role she played for five years spanning 138 episodes. 
Not all of the anniversaries we mark this week were people who died at a young age. This week also marks several other notable anniversaries worth remembering. Former actress and First Lady Nancy Reagan died seven years ago this week at 94. She is remembered for her anti-drug Just Say No campaign and for bringing attention to the importance of mammograms. Baseball Hall of Famer Willie Stargell was born 83 years ago this week and died in 2001. Stargell is remembered as one of the most feared sluggers of his day. He led the Pittsburgh Pirates to two World Series titles in the 1970s. Filmmaker Stanley Kubrick died 24 years ago this week from a heart attack. He was 70. We remember Kubrick for his unique artistic vision, as seen in films like Dr. Strangelove, 2001 A Space Odyssey, The Shining, and Full Metal Jacket. Record producer George Martin died seven years ago this week at age 90. Martin, who worked hand-in-hand with the Beatles to help craft their albums, is remembered for his profound influence on the band's style, sound, and studio experiments. Comedian George Burns died 27 years ago this week. He lived to be 100. We remember Burns for his dry humor, distinctive cigar, and long collaboration with his wife, Gracie Allen. Announcer Ed McMahon was born this week in 1923. He was the host of shows such as Star Search and TV's Bloopers and Practical Jokes with Dick Clark. We remember him for his long partnership with Johnny Carson, where he coined the catchphrase, Here's Johnny! Actress Teresa Wright died this week in 2005 of a heart attack. She was 86. We remember her for her roles in The Best Years of Our Lives and Shadow of a Doubt. She is best known for The Pride of the Yankees, which earned her an Academy Award nomination. And all-time baseball legend Joe DiMaggio died of lung cancer this week in 1999. He was 84. Jolton Joe's 56-game hitting streak is widely seen as an unbreakable record. We remember DiMaggio for his nine World Series rings and for his marriage to Marilyn Monroe. Every Friday, our channel publishes a news video paying tribute to the most recent celebrities and other public figures whose deaths have made headlines. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.